All right, welcome. Just gonna do a PM, checking the exterior of this machine. Um, one of the things I do like to see when the users are done is popping open the recovery lid so we have a chance for everything to dry and it's likely they're probably not looking at the filter which is inside the tank down underneath this plate. As far as hours are concerned, let's take a look and see if we do have an hour meter on this unit. I don't see it. Usually larger pieces of equipment they'll put an hour meter on, but I don't see it on this one. So we're gonna be checking it the uh, scrubbing and the recovery and on this unit uh, we see that there's the red bristle brushes on here okay and on this model they did relocate the drain hose to an area that's not going to get pinched so this one has the AGM batteries as well. There was no complaint on runtime. So um, they just got to make sure that all spills from possibly the back motor exhaust are all cleaned up so they don't get into the vents of the batteries. So um, I'm going to check inside the tank if I can get that open. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> They must be using tools to lock it down. So uh, let's do a wet test here just in just a moment. So the flow cage is clean and it can get it. This is about as clean as we would expect them to get it. Um, well, we would just want them to leave this open after use to dry. So, uh, Ran it for about 10, 15 minutes, but we got to remember, um, it was actually down here a little bit into the yellow that was running, so it's starting to stabilize the battery pack. So I got to remember, AGMs only have 40 to 50% capacity. So look, it's already down to all but one, it's almost one green left, so. Anyways, it does take a load, but I'm going to check the batteries, make sure there's no um, difference. Now look, it's already back to fully charged. So well, that initial load goes down to somewhere in the yellow there, the first yellow. Not too bad. 